welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing another Crock-Pot Chronicles. Um, please excuse my appearance. I am fighting a bit of a cold right now. I haven't felt very good since yesterday. Um, so today, this dinner is going to just be super simple. I'm going to show you how to make barbecue pulled chicken. So it's a lot like um, pulled pork sandwiches, but with chicken instead. So it's a lot healthier. As you'll see, it's super duper easy and simple. Anybody can do it. If this sounds yummy to you, please keep watching. Okay, so I will just show you guys the basics of what the recipe calls for. I do like to add a few other things, but I will show you the basics first. Obviously, some um, chicken breasts. I'm going to use about half of this pack here. You'll need barbecue sauce, Italian dressing, Worcestershire sauce, and some brown sugar. I have done this recipe with regular white sugar, and it works just as well. But since I have brown sugar today, I will use that. So I'm not going to follow the recipe exactly, and that's why I will leave it for you guys down below. I think I am going to make a little bit extra. My family does love this recipe, um, so I'm going to be making it for not only my husband and me, but also some of my family as well. So I'm going to make a bigger batch. Um, so I probably will be eyeballing some of the amounts. It's really goof proof. It's kind of hard to mess it up, so even if you have extra barbecue sauce, or extra Italian dressing, it's really not gonna taste bad. Okay, so the recipe calls for a cup of barbecue sauce. I'm gonna be using the Sweet Baby Ray's Honey Barbecue Sauce. I'm just gonna put it directly in here. And I'm probably just gonna use what I have left, which is about half a bottle. I want more barbecue sauce than this, so I am gonna also add in some Kinder's Hot Barbecue Sauce that I have. The recipe actually says to create the sauce in a separate bowl, but I am just trying to make as little dishes as possible. So a good tip is to just make the sauce in the pot itself and then add the chicken instead of adding the chicken first and having to mix up the sauce in a separate bowl. That's just more dishes in my opinion, so I'll just do it like this. The recipe also calls for a quarter of a cup of Italian dressing. I'm just going to use the Kraft Zesty Italian. Um, I am, like I said, making a little bit more, so I am just going to eyeball this. I have made this so many times that I kind of just know how I like it. So I don't typically measure. But so I used about almost half of the bottle. Next it says to add a fourth of a cup of brown sugar. I'm just going to use my hand. Yes, I have washed my hands thoroughly. I'm just going to add in a couple handfuls. She's my daughter in the background. I have her here in her car seat. She likes to be in the kitchen with me. Now I'm going to be adding some Worcestershire sauce. It asks for a tablespoon. I'm going to be doing a couple tablespoons. Just a few good shakes. So now what I do is I just whisk all of this sauce together. And that's basically it. So I would just add in about three or four chicken breasts today and then cook it on high for four to six hours. And then you shred up the chicken and let it cook for another 15 minutes in the sauce and that's it. But I am going to actually be adding a few extra things. Also going to add in a little bit of garlic powder. Just for some extra flavor. This is just the Costco garlic powder. I like a lot of freshly ground black pepper as well. And if you like a little bit of heat, you can either use a hot barbecue sauce or you can just add a little bit of red chili pepper flakes. So I do like a little bit of a spice to my barbecue. So I'm just gonna add a few shakes of some red pepper flakes. So like I said, this is just the stuff that I add. You don't have to do it. This is just my own personal touch to add a little more flavor. Um, the recipe is a little more simple than that. So now I am going to add in my thawed chicken breasts directly into the sauce. I am going to set it for four hours and then I will show you what it looks like once it's cooked. This is definitely one of my go-to crock pot meals. It's super, super simple, I swear you guys. Like today, I feel really crappy, 
but I have enough energy to do this because it literally, when I'm not filming it, it takes me all about five minutes to get it together. Um, and then later I'll just shred it and throw it on some bread. This is how I have to have little Alicia sitting while mama cooks, huh baby? Yeah, to keep you content. Hey guys, this chicken is done cooking. I accidentally started shredding it a little bit because I forgot I was supposed to film it. Um, I'm actually feeling a lot worse than earlier, so I'm going to just try and get this over with. I will show you guys how it looks right now, and then I will shred it up. So I just shred it right here in the sauce. I don't actually pull the chicken out. I just feel like it's easier this way. And since it's been cooking in this sauce, it's really soft. It's pretty easy to shred. And then I'm going to let it just sit in this juice for 15 to 20 minutes, and it will soak it all up and thicken some and it will be ready. This is how the chicken looks once it's all shredded and it has soaked up the juice. I have a roll here, it's just like a nice fluffy roll. This is what I like to serve it on. Regular bread is just not hearty enough to hold all the sauce. So I like to just pile a bunch of this onto the roll. And this goes perfect with like chips on the side to make it really simple or coleslaw, potato salad, whatever you guys wanna make. But it is super delicious super easy dinner I swear all right you guys that's it for this video I just wanted to show you how to make a really quick and simple barbecued pulled chicken I promise you guys will not miss the pork with how delicious the sauce is it's so flavorful you don't even notice a difference and like I said just get a good hearty crusty roll to serve it on it's the perfect easy meal thank you guys so much for watching please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you in the next one